and gentlemen, Nicole Bowles. Hi everyone, how are you? How are you? Is everyone enjoying themselves tonight? So this is what this afternoon. Oh, let me sip my bag. I'm holding on. I don't want to think. Okay. I love you. I'm so happy to be here with all of you today. And all you beautiful faces. The weather is really hot. But we're here for Bronx Pride. Thank you to Apollonia for letting me speak. I really, really appreciate it. I want to take this time out to give someone who was very great. And we couldn't do this. Yeah. So back then, back that, where that was, is where we didn't have the laws that we have right now. We didn't have transgender women on TV. We didn't have equality for gender. We didn't have equality rights for marriage. We have all these things. And so when I was sitting in my house one day, the Lord said, we acknowledge a lot about what we don't have but we never acknowledge or think about what we do have. And he said to me that come out and like I'm gonna do right now and tell you what that was. And that was when you couldn't get on a train and ride freely expressing your gender as you can do today. That was when you went to school, all the issues and problems that you had because of your color or what you decided to be. Even not just for LGBTQ people, but even my heterosexual people and where we are today than where we were back in the 90s and in the 80s. So we've come a long way. And so that, that, that was, is no longer this and what this is because today we do wonderful things today we stand loud today we are on tv today we are allowed to express our gender today we are allowed to move today we are allowed to marry today we are in a very very different place than we were back then everybody give a round of applause we are really in a different place and a lot of times and oftentimes we stay victimized to our past we stay attached to the way things used to be, but we never thank God for the way things are today. And so that is not this, and this is not that, and the message is in the detail. That message is you survived. That message is how resilient you were to come from that to this. Okay, and this is where we are today. So I want everyone in here, because um, the last time I spoke, Oh, Hector came up to me and he said, I like when you tell it, you got to tell everybody, you got to tell them. And he said, you need to get them to say it so that we can understand it. That that is not this, and this is not that, and the message is in the detail. Can I have everybody say that with me? That is not this, and this is not that, and the message is in the detail. The message is you survive. The message is you still here. The message is there's a long way to go, but the message is you're going to make it. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. God bless you. And everyone just give a round of applause for Hector Extravaganza. I love him. He's been the best friend to myself and to this whole community. Thank you, Apollonia, for allowing me to speak, but I would like for y'all to really leave out of here understanding that there's a lot of things that are happening today. Yes, there are. There's a lot of unfair things that are going on. But compared to yesterday, we have came a long way. Thank you, you guys. Right. Woo!